How's everybody doing tonight? This is going to be a video to show you how to set up MetaMask, how to get the Polygon mainnet, add your wallet address into the ZTA back office, and how to swap your ZTA token into Matic. So the first thing we're going to do, if you're doing this on a PC uh, or a uh, Mac, use Chrome. That is what we recommend. We will not be able to help you much, if at all, if you're using um, a Safari or any other browser. We highly recommend Chrome. So for those of you that have not yet downloaded the MetaMask extension for Chrome, what you're going to do is come into here into uh, Chrome and type into your search bar the Chrome Web Store. And once this comes up in the search box, type in MetaMask. This is what it looks like. I already have it added, so I cannot add it again. This is what it will look like up here, this little icon right here. Uh, you will go through. You will then set up and follow the prompts, set up your entire account with them. Uh, they will be giving you some words for you to write down. Write those down save them somewhere, physically write them and put them somewhere safe. If you lose those words, nobody from Zenith, nobody from ZTA, nobody from MetaMask can help you get those back and your account will be lost. I repeat, nobody will be able to help you get that back. So don't ask us at ZTA, don't go and ask MetaMask, it's just gone. Plain and simple. So make sure you save those keywords in a very safe, secure location. So after you get MetaMask set up and you have your browser extension set up, this is what it will look like. Well, yours will say Ethernet, uh, I'm sorry, Ethereum mainnet up here at the top. You want it to say Polygon. Now, when you hit this button, it's this is what it's going to look like initially. You're not going to see Polygon here like I just did. That's not going to, that's not the way this one works. So what you're going to have to do is go to polygonscan.com. That's going to bring you to this web page. Scroll down. This section right here. Right there. You're going to then click. How do I get rid of this? You're going to click on this section right here. Add Polygon Network. Then follow the prompts. If I click it, it's going to tell me it's already been added. So I can't walk you through that right here right now, but it's simple. Once you click there, it will add the Polygon network to MetaMask. So when you open up your MetaMask, if it still says Ethereum up here, Click this arrow and you will see Polygon. This is where you want to add right here, Polygon. It must say Polygon. This will not work unless you have Polygon at the top. Polygon will automatically add the Matic coin. You will need to purchase Matic or Matic if you want to 
um, swap your coins. This is mandatory. So you see, I've already added my ZTA coins. We'll go to a separate account. I have more than one account. See, I do not have ZTA listed here. This is a completely different account. So to actually add your ZTA coins, see down here it says import tokens. Click import tokens for your token contact address. This is the number that we put on the Telegram group. It's this number right here. Now, please be warned if you are copying this number from the Telegram group, right here between the one and the A is a space. Telegram automatically put this space there. That is where it cuts off and goes down to the next line. Delete the space. If you are having an issue with putting this on the quick swap exchange and it's not finding the ZTA coin, it one of the most common reasons is you have a space right here if you copied it directly from the Telegram group. Another common issue is when you copy it, there's a space at this end or a space at this end, neither of which you will actually be able to see. The only way you can do that is to put your mouse at the edge, tap the arrow button to see if it goes over. Same thing here. Tap the arrow button to see if it moves over. If it does not move over, there is no space. You copy that. It goes into token contact address. Now I said, you want to double check to see if there is a space. If you did it correctly, it will automatically fill in this information. You just hit add custom token. You see, I have no tokens here because this is not the address that I put into ZTA. Import tokens. Great. Now, the next thing you want to do Copy this address right here. See this little icon? We can just click it, copy to clipboard. Open up your Zenith. Go to your dash, uh, dashboard or uh, my wallet. And right here will be where you put in for to save your wallet for your airdrop. Now, those of you that are using things such as iCloud, Yahoo, uh, MSN, you are having some issues with receiving the code that is being generated. Trust me, the code is being sent out. And you may have to continue to try uh, before we get it, uh, before you actually receive the code. It is frustrating. That is out of our hands. There is nothing that we can do about that. So you will just have to continue to try. It will come through. You only have 10 minutes to input the code. If 10 minutes has passed, try again. Once you input it, your, your wallet address will be saved. So now you are completely set up to receive your airdrop and you are completely set up to be able now to trade uh, ZTA. I make sure I'm back on my correct account. So once we have everything done, we come to quickswap.exchange. 
over on the right hand side in the top you will see a button that says connect wallet you see mine is already connected this is how you can tell if your wallet is connected it will say connect wallet or it will tell you your wallet address if if it says connect wallet click it and follow through follow the steps it will connect your MetaMask to here. Another way to be able to tell if you are connected while you're on the web page, open up MetaMask. See this green right here? Connected. This means you are now connected to this web page. So now what you would like now what you do, click enter app. Market V3. Select token. In this search box, paste the address again. And that is not correct. If you do it correctly, you will see ZTA show up. Click on the actual circle, and bam, there you go. It's now shown up. Now, if you would like to swap uh, ZTA for Matic, make sure ZTA is up at the top. You can do 50% which it will then do the math for you, all your ZTA, or I will do a swap of, let's say, 100 ZTA. No, I want to get one Matic. So let's see. Let's do... 500 ZTA. There you go. 1.23. That's just over a dollar. So 500 ZTA will give me just over one dollar uh, in Matic. Click here. Allow Quick Swap to use your ZTA. As you see, it opened up my MetaMask. I'm going through all of this. It is asking me for my permission. I'm hitting confirm. Processing. Approved. Swap. Confirm swap. Bam, we are done. So now if I open up my MetaMask, you'll see it did use a little bit there. It's telling me what happened here.
Now we just have to give it a moment to actually go through and do the actual swap. I see it's pending right now. I can speed it up if I'd like, but that's going to cost me more. I'm not going to sit and wait for this whole thing to go through. I'm not sure how long that will take. But once you have it into Matic, you can then go through and change that to another coin at a, um, another exchange and do with it as you wish. I know what I will be doing with mine and I will be staking all of mine because the rewards for the staking are simply outrageous. There will be a future video coming just uh, focus on the staking and that will come in the next day or two. Until then, have a wonderful night and let's get rich together.